Hello, welcome to Just Learn Civil. This is the second tutorial in Highway Engineering Classification of Bitumen. We will see how bitumen are classified based on penetration grade and viscosity grade. First, let us see how bitumen are classified on based on penetration grade. Penetration actually characterizes how bitumen is, how bitumen, how hard the bitumen is, or how soft the bitumen is. It is based on the hardness. It is assumed that less viscous the bitumen deeper the needle will penetrate. While doing the penetration grade, the needle is penetrated through the bitumen. And if the needle penetrates deeper, then the bitumen is soft. And if the needle penetrates less deep, then the needle, then the bitumen is hard. Hence the penetration means higher penetration means soft bitumen and used in cold climate. Similarly, lower penetration means hard bitumen and used in hot climate. Now we might have seen what penetration grade 80 by 10 means. Let's see what this 80 by 10 means in the penetration grade. Penetration grade is denoted by two numbers 80 by 100 or 70 by 60 by 70, 30 by 40, and so on. If you divide this both number by 10, if you divide both number by 10, then you will be left with 8 and 10. It represents mm. So 1 tenth mm. It means the penetration value of this bitumen 80 by 10, 80 by 100 bitumen lies between 8 mm to 10 mm in standard condition. Standard condition means 100 gram needle penetration for 5 seconds at 25 degree Celsius. Similarly, if penetration grade is 30 by 40 means if penetration grade is 30 by 40, it means its penetration value lies between if you divide by 10, 3 mm to 4 mm. 3 mm to 4 mm is less penetration than 8 mm to 10 mm. So this is soft between and this is hard between. Some of the penetration grade of the bitumen are 80 by 100, 60 by 70, 30 by 40. These are generally used. We already saw how 80 by 100 is soft bitumen. Of these three, it is the softest bitumen and used for low volume road only. 60 by 70 is harder than 80 by 100 because its penetration value is less than the above. So it can stand higher traffic conditions like in highways. Similarly, 30 by 40 is hardest of all these and generally used in airport. It is hard because its penetration value is least of all, 3 mm to 4 mm. Now, advantage of penetration grade bitumen. It is inexpensive and can be used in field as well. Only you need the penetration equipment, penetration testing equipment and you can use it in the field as well. The test is done at 25 degrees Celsius and generally the average temperature of pavement is also 25 degrees Celsius. So it correlates. Now disadvantage of penetration grade. Penetration grade is not based on any in engineering functions. It is based on empirical test. And when two bitumen have the same penetration value at 25 degrees Celsius, it may not have same value at other degrees Celsius. Suppose we see different bitumen passing through this 25 degrees Celsius and this is 25 degrees Celsius then at different temperature it will have different penetration value so this is not given by this penetration test since penetration test occurs or we use only penetration test as a single test at 25 degrees Celsius one day. similarly it does not provide any information about engineering properties like viscosity also, it does not provide any information at what temperature should we compact the bitumen, at what temperature should we mix the bitumen to make asphalt concrete. And newly developed polymer modified bitumen. We cannot use this test for such bitumen as well. So these are some advantages and disadvantages of penetration grade. Now let's see how penetration tests are conducted in bitumen. Take a bitumen sample. At 25 degrees Celsius. Now this is the bitumen testing, 
bitumen penetration testing apparatus. This is the needle which penetrates through the bitumen. This is the schematic figure. Read the initial reading in the needle and then allow the needle to penetrate for 5 seconds. Now after that clamp it and read the new reading. The difference between these two readings gives the penetration value. Now you have to divide by 0. Point, multiply by 0. 0.1 mm or divide by 10 mm as we saw earlier. 80 by 100 means we have to divide this by 10 to get the result in mm. 8 mm to 10 mm penetration. So now while testing you have to make sure that you are away from at least one centimeter away from these faces and also if you conducted this test here then you have to conduct another test at least one centimeter away from the initially conducted test and you have to take three such values to take the average this is the penetration value of the bitumen now let's see the viscosity grade of bitumen Bitumen is classified based on the viscosity of the bitumen. Viscosity means you can say it is the resistance to flow or friction in fluid. It shows how the fluid flows. If the flow is easy like water then it has less viscous and if the fluid flow is not like liquid then it is more viscous like honey is more viscous than water we need to know the property of the viscosity of bitumen because suppose this is aggregate if viscosity is less that is it is like honey not like water and the flow there is more resistance to flow then it cannot penetrate to the aggregate and the binding throughout the surface of the aggregate will not be proper and hence there will be crack and other defects in the bitumen but if viscosity is enough to allow the viscosity to penetrate deeper into the aggregate it will bind properly so we need this property and we need to see how the viscosity are classified based on the viscosity grade it is usually used in the hot mix asphalt hot mix asphalt means bitumen is heated before its application and cold mix asphalt means bitumen is not heated before its application. So VZ10, VZ20, VZ30 and VZ40 are types of viscosity grade. VZ represents viscosity grade and 10 represents viscosity of number. We will see how to find viscosity based on this number 10, 20, 30, 40. But we know one thing from this is that this has less viscosity and this has more viscosity. Less viscosity means more fluid like behavior and more fluid like behavior means soft bitumen. More viscosity means less fluid like behavior and less fluid like behavior means hard bitumen, stiff bitumen also. Viscosity grade VZ10. Now let's see one by one these grade where are they used and what are their properties. Viscosity grade 10. Mostly used in spraying applications such as surface tracing, paving in cold climates, or generally used in like prime coat, tack coat, because they need thin bitumen. Like uh, in prime coat, you need bitumen which can flow easily. So you need the bitumen with less viscosity. That is, VZ10 would be more preferable. And can be used instead of 80 by 100 penetration grade bitumen. This is the correlation between viscosity grade and penetration grade so if you were to use 80 by 100 penetration grade bitumen instead of that you can use vz10 bitumen generally nowadays vz based on viscosity based bitumen based on viscosity grade is generally used than penetration grade bitumen so you need to know the correlation between vz10 and penetration grade bitumen. It is also used to produce bitumen emulsion and modified products. VZ10. VZ20 is used in paving in cold climates and higher altitude. Remember, VZ20 is more viscous than VZ10. And we already know 
more viscous is used in cold climate. VG30 used to construct extra heavy duty bitumen pavement that need to tolerate significant traffic load because VG30 is more viscous and more stiff. So it can take more load and it is used instead of 60 by 70 penetration grade bitumen. Now VG40 this is more stiff than the others. Used in highly stressed areas such as intersections near tool boats, near truck parking lots, etc., can be used instead of 30 40 penetration grade. This was the most stiff bitumen or hardest bitumen in the penetration grade bitumen, and VG40 is also the hardest bitumen among all these grade. Now because of higher viscosity, stiffer bitumen mixes can be produced to amend the resistance to sowing. So hard bitumen, when hard bitumen is used, the problem of sowing and others problem related to higher temperature will be solved. Let's see what sowing is. Sowing is the formation of ripples across a pavement. In the pavement, when you see along this, you will see a ripple-like structure here in the blacktop road that is because of the saber horizontal stresses like when you apply brakes then you see saber horizontal stresses such as the area near in intersections and when you use vg40 in such areas the problem of sobbing will not arise typically it is caused due to too soft bitumen so when we use hard bitumen this problem is solved, solving problem is solved. Also, it is caused due to excess asphalt, too much of fine aggregates and rounded aggregates and weaker granular base. So, areas such as intersections or parking lots where horizontal stresses are expected, we use hard bitumen. Hard bitumen is or hard or stiff bitumen that is easy 40 because soft bitumen will cause problem like soft. Now, as we said, we will know how to find viscosity based on this number we will see here. Kinematic viscosity, we need to find minimum and maximum based on this number 10. So, do 100 plus minus 20 into the number here 100 plus gives the maximum and 100 minus gives the minimum so we will be left with 120 times of number and 80 times of number 80 times 10 is 800 and 120 times 10 is 100 1200 similarly you can do for others as well if you multiply this by 20 you will get 1600 if you multiply this by 20 you will get 2400 and so on up to bz40 Unit is in centimeter square per second or centimeter stop. Advantage of viscosity grade. First advantage is that it is based on the engineering properties. And it gives the temperature of mixing and compacting of bitumen when it is poured on the road surface. Now let's see how viscosity test is conducted. Take a sample of bitumen about 50 ml and let it pass through the orifice. This is the orifice. We call it the orifice type viscometer. Now we will measure the time in seconds because it is the viscosity is the time taken by 50 ml bitumen to pass through the orifice under standard condition. Now when all this bit all these bitumen are passed through here, we will stop take a stopwatch start the stopwatch and when all these have passed into this flask then we will stop the stopwatch and see how much time it took to pass through this orifice now if the viscosity is more of the bitumen then it will take more time to pass through it and if the viscosity is less it will take less time to pass through it remember the 
remember the analogy of water and honey honey will pass slow into this flask and water will pass faster so water is more this water is less viscous because it has less resistance to flow and honey is more viscous it has more resistance to flow viscosity denotes the fluid property of bitumen it means viscosity you can simply take it as friction in the fluid thank you for watching like share subscribe if you are new comment for any further question click bell icon for notification